Hello, welcome to the Illinois Association for College Admissions Counseling Virtual College Fair. Thank you so much for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so our panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many sessions happening, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions where you sign up for this one. And at the same uh, place, you can also watch this recording, which will be available within about a week. And with that, I'll turn it over to our first presenter, University Advancing Technology. Good evening, everybody. My name is Lori Saba, and I am with University of Advancing Technology, UAT. We're located in Tempe, Arizona. We have less than a thousand students, only about 15 students a class, and we offer all technology degrees. Some things that make UAT unique are that our students attend all year round, so they're done with their bachelor's degree in two years and eight months. Also, they'll graduate with an internship and a student innovation project. So they'll have something to show for all of their efforts. At UAT, we offer Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science and master's degrees. You can choose your favorite degree and you'll have eight elective classes to take classes from other degrees. So you can customize your degree through your electives. Under our digital arts degrees, we offer digital video, digital marketing, advertising art, and web design. Our software engineering degrees we offer are advancing computer science, data science, and artificial intelligence. Video game study degrees we offer are game design, virtual reality, game art and animation, and game programming. Business and innovation degrees we offer are technology studies and business technology. Cybersecurity degrees we offer are network engineering, network security, and technology forensics. Our cybersecurity lab was funded in part by the Department of Defense. So the CIA, FBI, and NSA recruit our students for jobs and internships. Under creation and simulation majors, we offer robotics and embedded systems, human computer interaction, which is creating interactive apps on different devices, and digital maker and fabrication, which is a design and manufacturing manufacturing degree. UAT is accredited through the Higher Learning Commission, which is an accrediting body recognized by the Department of Education. How do you get a UAT scholarship? You just need to apply to UAT and we'll contact you within two weeks and let you know your acceptance status and how much of a scholarship you're eligible for. What does it take to apply? Well, you can apply as a sophomore, junior, or senior in high school. It's free to apply. There's no SAT nor ACT required. We ask you five mini essay questions and combine it with your GPA to determine acceptance and scholarships. We have all kinds of clubs at UAT, like eSports that competes in Overwatch and Fortnite, anime, manga, League of Legends, Robotics Club, Pokemon Trainers Club, and other clubs as well. So if you're interested in, in contacting me and getting specific information about UAT, then you can get your phone and scan this QR code here or you can type in this link into your browser and we'll send you information right away. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this presentation about UAT.
All right, that means it's my turn. Hello, everyone. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name is Douglas Harrington. I am an admissions counselor with Binghamton University, the State University of New York, and I'm very excited to be here. I'm happy to show you um, a little bit more about Binghamton. If you give me a second here, I'll pull up my slides. I'll be more than happy to show you a little bit more about what Binghamton University is. Uh, like I said, we're part of the State University of New York. We are nestled up here in the beautiful upstate New York. Uh, here you can see in the background there I certainly love to point out our beautiful campus that sits up here in the southern tier. So exactly where we are you can see here that we are located right in the heart of New York State. Uh, you can see that we're very centralized to a lot of metro areas here in the northeast. New York's three hours, Philadelphia's three hours, Pittsburgh, Boston, Cleveland about five hours and then you have smaller cities like Syracuse, Scranton, Ithaca they're only about an hour away. Which really helps with not only, you know, with things to do here, here at Binghamton, but also when it comes time to recruitment. Uh, we have over 145,000 active living alum, two thirds of which actually live and work in the New York City and Philadelphia metro areas. So here at Binghamton, you know, we are very sought after students here. Uh, we are the number one public institution in New York. There are 64 different schools, a part of the State University of New York system. And out of all 64, we are ranked number one. We are the number one public institution in all of New York State. So I certainly love to point that out. So here at Binghamton, we do have over 130 different majors and programs broken up into six different schools of study. I did see a Q&A question asking about our pharmacy, um, if anyone offers a pharmacy school. We do. We just opened it in the fall of 2017. Um, that is our School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences, where you can come and get a full PharmD here right at Binghamton in as little as six years. Um, it is a beautiful, uh, we do have a brand new pharmacy building here that just opened about two years ago. So you're gonna have the newest technologies available to you for um, all your PharmD classes. Outside of that, we do have our Harper College of Arts and Sciences where it's our largest school. It has about 120 of our 130 different majors and programs. All of your physical sciences, social sciences, maths, languages, fine arts. We have our College of Community Public Affairs which houses human development and our social work program. Our Decker College of Nursing and Health Sciences. We are the number one feeder, or, sorry, we are one of the top uh, nursing programs in all of New York State, and uh, we do have almost 100% job placement rate for our nursing students. You can see that our School of Management, we are one of the top feeders into the big four accounting firms in New York City, and one of the top 10 public business schools in the entire country, as well as our Thomas J. Watson College of Engineering and Applied Sciences for Engineering and Computer Science. If you didn't know, IBM was actually founded in the Binghamton area, so we do have great connections as they are still here in the local area. So um, really great opportunities for a bunch of different programs, as well as our different fast track programs and pre-professional programs. If you look on the right-hand side of your screen, certainly love to point out, oh, Binghamton does have its first Nobel Prize winning professor. That is Professor Stanley Whittingham. He is our one of our chemistry professors and he won the Nobel Prize in chemistry in 2019. Uh, he is actually credited with inventing the lithium ion battery. So we're incredibly lucky to have him and he does work with our first year students. One of which, uh, you know, he's incredibly involved with research. We are a research institution here. We have an abundance of different research opportunities available uh, for our students, including our a couple of first year research programs, our first year research immersion program, as well as our source project. Both allow students to start doing research right from your first semester. And both we've had students uh, come in with zero research opportunity or experience that have actually ended up being published by the end of their first year. So really amazing opportunities in regards to research, internships and full-time jobs. You have access to our award-winning uh, career services center that will help you land at any internship or full-time job. And of course, service learning and education abroad opportunities. Being a part of the State University of New York system, Binghamton, you're not only getting access to our study abroad programs, you're getting access to every single one in the SUNY system. So that is over a thousand different programs available to you. So we're more than happy to share these experiences with you and to come and be a Bearcat here at Binghamton. <laughs> Excuse me. And of course, outside of our academics, you know, you don't want to be that person who spends 24 seven in the library. I know them. They're no fun. You can go out and explore. We do have over 450 student run groups and organizations. We are division one here at Binghamton. As you can see, we do have 21 division one sports ranging from baseball, basketball, softball, lacrosse, soccer, and of course, club and intramural sports with, of course, over 100 different music and theater performances. We do have two professional art galleries on campus with over 4000 works of art, as well as you know, an abundance of different groups and organizations from performance to professional to volunteer to almost anything that you can think of. And something that's really cool about our campus is that we are actually ranked number one in the country for sustainability research. It's something that's incredibly important to us because we understand we have about 18,000 students here. So we're a nice mid-sized university. So we understand that housing and teaching almost 18,000 students could potentially leave a mark. So it's something that we're incredibly focused on and it's been at the forefront of the institution uh, between our different academic programs. We do have a 182 acre nature preserve that does sit right on our campus with a six acre lake that sits right in the middle. 
It is absolutely beautiful, especially when the leaves change in the fall. It is peak upstate New York um, and is absolutely beautiful with miles of hiking trails and biking trails that our students can go and kind of take in. We do have our BU Acres Farm, which is a farm that is directly on our campus that students can volunteer at. And we can actually volunteer, harvest the crops, and we'll sell them back to the dining hall. So we do have a little bit of a farm to table atmosphere here, as well as our Nuthatch Hollow Living Building. It will be considered, once it's complete, it will be considered the uh, only the 12th living building in the entire world. And basically that means it's going to be entirely self-sufficient, meaning that it's going to empower itself, maintain itself, and do everything possible. So of course, I know this is just a little bit tidbit about Binghamton. You can see the nature reserve there in the background. That is our beautiful nature reserve. But of course, feel free to check us out through different live chats, one-on-one -on -one appointments, information sessions, and of course, our brand new Campus 360 virtual reality tour that you can find on our website as well. And with that, love to answer any questions that you may have um, in the Q&A functionality. Uh, please feel free to direct them to Binghamton if you'd like. Um, but you can check out more of our campus there and of course, on our website as well. So like I said, peak upstate New York here in Binghamton. So with that, I will stop sharing my screen and turn it over to our next presenter. So thank you so much uh, for watching. Thank you so much. Our next presenter is University of Northern Iowa. Okay, hello everybody. My name is John Peterson and I am an admissions counselor here at the University of Northern Iowa. The University of Northern Iowa, around 10,000 students, 10,500, diversely populated and represented 46 states and 63 countries. If there's anything you wanna take out of your college experience, it is a diverse experience. It is best for both people in that relationship to learn more about other people, but most importantly, about yourself. And here at the University of Northern Iowa, you most definitely can do that with a, a diverse population and diverse experience. What you'll find here at the University of Northern Iowa, we're about, oh, not too far from Chicago, around five hours away from the metro of Chicago and around 70,000 people in the area. So it's got that small town feel, but kind of a big city atmosphere. And what you'll find academically, academically here at the University of Northern Iowa is over 90 majors, 25 pre-professional programs, and 87 minors that will go on and emphasize that major. Uh, the biggest stat, though, that I'd like for you to pay attention to this slide is our class size. There's nothing better than a small class size, and you most definitely will get that here at the University of Northern Iowa. On average, between 25 to 30 students in your class, and that means you'll get to know your classmates, but you'll also get to know your professors. 99% of our professors have a degree, an advanced degree, and have experience in their area. That's just going to make those key intro classes that much more important going forward. But most importantly, you are going to be able to get that experience and get those relationships going early as a freshman here at the University of Northern Iowa. We have a lot of great programs here. All of our 90 plus programs are one of the best business schools in the nation. Gold accredited, meaning we're in the top 5% of business schools and we have been for the last decade. As far as teaching, we are the top institution in the state of Iowa when it comes towards teaching. 33% of the teachers in the state of Iowa have gotten a degree from the University of Northern Iowa and 40% of those superintendents and principals have gotten a degree from the University of Northern Iowa. You're gonna get into a classroom right off the bat your freshman year. Uh, you'll definitely know if you wanna be a teacher or not. Uh, you're gonna have over 700 hours of teaching in your four years as a UNI Panther with uh, 20 hours of teaching your sophomore year, 40 hour practicum your junior year, and then your senior year, over 600 hours of student teaching. Uh, you're gonna get into your major classes right off the bat your freshman year. And you're definitely gonna be getting experience, not just in your senior year, but around your sophomore and junior year too. Uh, college is a place to learn what you want, but most importantly, what don't you want? So that's why a lot of our students find out maybe their first experience might not be the greatest experience, but that's totally fine because you'll definitely get another chance of getting that hands-on experience. And that is why 94% of our students find success within six months of graduating from the University of Northern Iowa. They ask those tough questions. They get those relationships early within their freshman year. And most importantly, 
they are going to have a network that they are going to be able to rely on for the rest of their professional careers. So that's why here at the University of Northern Iowa, we really strive on knowing that small class sizes, and most importantly, relationships are very key. Um, staying involved on campus, very good staying involved on campus, very easy, over 260 clubs and organizations on campus. We are a division one institution, 17 sports on campus, member of the Missouri Valley Conference, uh, Missouri Valley Football Conference, and our wrestling team is an affiliate member of the Big 12. Club and intramural sports are easy to join on campus, but most importantly, we've got clubs to do with a major, clubs to do with a cultural, a religious group, but clubs where you get together and just have friends, meet friends, uh, Ben and Jared's Ice Cream Alliance, where you get together and just eat ice cream, hula hoop group. Uh, we've got esports, a lot of clubs where you can advance from the bottom to the top, which employers love to see. A thriving arts and theater scene, of course, to go along with your um, love for the arts, over 200 events put on by our music and theater majors on a yearly basis. All this stuff sounds great too. So the University of Northern Iowa, we are looking at your four years of English, three years of math, three years of science, three years of social studies, and two years of a world language. Whatever comes first, two years in high school or one year in college. We are waiving your ACT for this year. And next year, we are only looking at your GPA and your total set of core classes. But we do have scholarships for our non-residents. You're looking at around $19,000. But our scholarships automatically admitted to the University of Northern Iowa, you are given $5,000 that is renewable up to four years with a 2.5 GPA throughout college. So quick math here for you, $20,000, essentially you're getting one year free of tuition here at the University of Northern Iowa just by being a Panther. And on top of that, both GPA and ACT scholarships, we have op opportunities to get on top of that $5,000. Also, we have scholarships that are just based off your GPA. If ACT is not where it's at for you, totally fine. Whatever's better for you, GPA only scholarships or your GPA plus your ACT. We also have students of color scholarships and those that are a part of a trio, AVID or talent search program stackable on top of the merit-based scholarships. If you have a fellow Panther in the family, go ahead and you can get an extra $2,000. That is what I'd like to say. UNI Scholarship app, app is also available for students. Please let me know if you have any questions. One app fits all. We're here to help. Admissions at uni.edu. My name is John, and we'll give it over to the next person. Thanks for listening to the University of Northern Iowa. Thank you so much. Our next presenter is Concordia University Chicago. Yep. So let me just go ahead and get started here. I think I also have to turn on my camera. All righty, there we are. Um, hi, guys. Thank you so much for spending a little time of your evening with us today. Um, thank you so much for stopping by to learn a little bit more about Concordia University Chicago. I know I'm going to be going quick. So um, as a disclaimer, there will be QR codes throughout the presentation just so that you can um, go ahead and scan that and get more information if I didn't cover something. A little bit about Concordia. Um, we are located in the state of Illinois. We are located right outside the city of Chicago in a small town called River Forest, right by like Oak Park, Elmwood Park. We are a small private liberal arts university. We have around 1,500 to 2,000 or so undergrad students. Definitely makes it comfortable for those small classes, 15 to 17 students or so per professor. Although we don't require our students to live on campus, we have different dorms and facilities available if you wanted that full dorm um, life experience experience. Into our academics, we offer over 70 different academics. Um, this can be a combination of your majors and your minors. On the screen, you are seeing some of our more popular programs, such as education. We started out as a teacher school, and so that's definitely our largest program. But we have psychology, business, criminal justice, computer science, art therapy, um, and pre-med and nursing and whatnot. So definitely lots of other good programs that you can um, focus on and definitely add a major or a minor in a combination of. 
On top of academics, we are also part of NCAA Division Three in athletics. We have your women's soccer, basketball, baseball, softball, lacrosse, cross country, track, et cetera. Um, we also have the intramural, so maybe you don't want to compete at that competitive level. Maybe you're not a student athlete, maybe you're more musically inclined. We have different music ensembles that do tour as well. And so it's kind of nice to get to play good music and, and get to travel as well. If you're maybe neither of those, maybe you, maybe you just want to participate in one of our student clubs let, um, and organizations here on campus, such as eSports, our first gen community, our Latino student union and book club. So definitely lots of good things to do here. Um, in regards to our student services, I always point this out because you, you're going to college and you want to be successful. And, and that's one of the reasons. And what's going to help you be successful is those student services. And so from the top, you're going to immediately be supported with an entire team that's there in your corner supporting you, listening to some of those rants or those success stories. Um, that's going to be composed of your advisors, success coaches, peer mentors. Um, we also house all of our student services under the same place. Um, and that starts with career services as you are going through the process, internships, resumes, and whatnot. Mental health, college is hard. And so if you just need to take care of yourself, we have that. We also have a clinic. At this time, we also are serving our students with like COVID testing and whatnot there. We have a food pantry. We all come from different backgrounds, but we want to support you in every way. And academically, being successful academically, that might take some tutoring. Maybe you need someone to revise your essays. Maybe you have an IEP or a 504 plan resources already in place in high school that you would like to transfer over to um, the college level, we were more than happy to take those over. Here's a little quick snapshot of campus. Again, you can see kind of, you know, we're more, we talk about being a small school, but actually it's, you know, the actual physical plan of it, it's a pretty large, um, nice high school. And just diving into like what it takes to apply to Concordia, whether you are a senior listening and still looking for a school to apply or a junior getting ready um, to start this process, Concordia's application is super quick and super easy. Um, you can find us on our application, which is right there, the QR code, or on the Common App if you're using that. Uh, we don't require any fees, essays, or letter of recommendations. All we will take is your official high school transcript. This year and move, going forward, we are going to be test optional, so we won't require or want to see See that. Um, and on your high school transcript, we'll take a look at those grades at GPA extracurriculars. We also want to remind you of the importance of filing your FAFSA and the alternative application, one or the other, and setting up a visit, whether you want to come on campus and actually get a feel for the campus, talk to your advisors, professors, coaches. Maybe you just want to do the virtual tour on our website, or you want to chat with someone. All of those possibilities and features are available to you. Here's another quick look. I love this view just because you can see our awesome city of Chicago. Right now we are under snow, but it's a nice time during the fall, spring, summer, and winter just to see all of the different seasons here. And then last but not least, please do not hesitate to be in touch with us. Um, you are all assigned a different admission counselor, just depending on where you live or what school you attend. So the best way to get in touch with us is through our Office of Undergrad Admission. Um, there you have our email or our phone number. Sneaking a plug in there for our Instagram as well, social media. I know you guys are on there. We are too. So definitely a good way to just get a feel for campus, see some student takeovers, or even get in touch with us if we, you know, that's your preferred method. So thank you so much. And I will gladly take any um, questions in the chat. Thank you so much. Our next presenter is Colorado State University. All right, I'm just gonna share my PowerPoint here. Let's see. So put myself on screen here. Oh, sorry, I'm having some issues here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having some technical issues here. All right, let me do this again. Uh 
I was missing the video button for a second, but um, all right. So yes, my name is Justin Smalley. And let me go back a slide here. Yes, my name is Justin Smalley and I'm an admissions counselor with Colorado State University in Fort Collins, Colorado. So there's my contact information, my email address, also my work cell phone and our admissions uh, website. If you uh, wanna do any further research, you can definitely check out our virtual visits. Uh, so first off, Colorado State University, we are located in Fort Collins, Colorado, which is one hour directly north of Denver, if you've ever been to the great state of Colorado. So Denver is kind of right in the heart of the state, and then Fort Collins is six miles directly north. We are about 30 miles south of the Wyoming border, and we're nestled right next to the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. Um, the town of Fort Collins, it's a great college town. It's been recognized as one of the, really one of the best places to live in America by many different uh, news magazines, such as uh, Money Magazine, for instance. And um, really Fort Collins is an outdoor recreation mecca. Um, there's a lot of bicycle uh, lanes that'll go throughout all the streets. Also a lot of bike trails throughout the town. And um, really that's definitely the most common mode of transportation on our campus is having your own bike. Um, a lot of people will have skateboards and, and things. We do have an on-campus shuttle. Um, our campus does lie on 500 acres right in the heart of Fort Collins. We are about half a mile away from downtown Fort Collins, which is known as Old Town, and uh, just a great place to hang out on the weekends. A lot of local eateries, uh, candy shops, boutiques, stores, things like that. Um, also, going back to the outdoor recreation theme, um, we are very close to many opportunities like whitewater rafting, boating, uh, even skiing, of course, the snow sports, um, snow skiing, snowshoeing, um, snowboarding. Uh, also about an hour away is, is Rocky Mountain National Park, which will have just fantastic mountains as well. A little bit about the university itself. We are the second largest public university in the state of Colorado with 28,000 students. Uh, we have about 25,000 undergraduate students. Um, the university itself, we are a research-based university and we have eight colleges that make up the university total. Within those eight different colleges, we will have over 250 programs of study that students can go into. Um, within those 250 programs, we actually have 74 undergraduate majors, but many of our majors have a concentration area that students can have a specialized interest in. Um, so for instance, business administration is one of our top 10 most popular majors, but within that overall major business, students can have a specialization in things like real estate, marketing, finance, computer information systems, international business, things like that. Um, some of our bread and butter programs at Colorado State University, we are the public university that really specializes in the life, animal, and agricultural sciences for the state of Colorado. Probably our most recognized graduate program at the university is our veterinary medicine graduate program. Um, I saw there was a question in the chat box about that. Um, currently, our veterinary medicine school is ranked third in North America. And uh, because of that, we have fantastic undergraduate opportunities in majors like animal science, equine science, for those of you that might be into horses, um, zoology, uh, wildlife, fish, conservation biology. So a lot of different um, great opportunities. Um, we also are recognized as a very sustainable university. Um, over one third of our classes will have some type of sustainability focus. And we have a very strong College of Natural Resources where we have over nine different majors that students can choose from that take on um, a different approach to environmental science, things like forestry or um, watershed science, uh, restoration ecology, um, ecosystem science and sustainability. We also have a mountain campus associated with this college where students will do uh, natural field studies um, within the, the specific, nat specific natural resource major that they're in. Our most popular majors will be things like uh, psychology, biology, health and exercise science, communication studies, mechanical engineering, uh, business, and um, human development and family studies. Uh, so, so those are some of our more popular majors at the university. Since we are a medium-sized university, our current, our current student to faculty ratio is at 19 to one. Um, so pretty good for an institution of our size. Really, I think what you'll find at Colorado State, it's a really down to earth, um, convenient, safe community to go to school. We're gonna have all the opportunities that you're looking for in a major research university, as far as over 500 different student clubs and organizations. Um, also, we are Division I NCAA in athletics. We're spectacular in education abroad, performing arts, um, a lot of great opportunities. Our, student, our students work hard and also they like to have fun outside the classroom and we really promote that at the university. 
Um, so becoming a RAM, we are a member of the common application. That's how students will apply. And we really do a holistic review to, at Colorado State. So we're gonna take a look at the classes that you're taking, um, the grades that you're receiving. Um, we are test optional this year, and we're hoping to do that for um, the future, depending on, um, since we are a public, public university, we just need to kind of wait till the Colorado State government approves all that. It's applying for fall of 2022. Um, we have a strong honors program and scholarships for non-resident students um, will range from $6,000 to $10,000, and that information can be found on our financial aid website. Um, all right, so finally to wrap up once again, uh, my name is Justin Small. If you have any questions, let me know in the chat box. And if you come to Colorado State, you can explore the mountains and kind of discover yourself and what opportunities lie ahead for you. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Our final presenter is Texas A&M University. Howdy, everyone. Give me one second. I'm going to start my presentation. I'm so happy you guys are here with us tonight. I'm glad you're wanting to hear about Texas A&M. Um, so howdy is our official greeting. So if you're ever on campus and you hear someone saying howdy, that is just our way of saying welcome. We're happy you're here um, and a way to say hello. So just say howdy back. Um, but we are a large institution. We're actually the largest university um, in, the, in the nation. We're number one in the nation with 70,000 students um, enrolled at Texas A&M University. So this is an aerial view of our campus. Um, it looks very tan up here, but I can assure you it is very green in person. Um, and it's a little snowy today, which is new for us in Texas. We don't get a lot of snow, but today it's very snowy down there in Texas. Um, and even though it's so big, it actually tends to feel very small. We're actually known as the friendliest campus um, because you can't, like I mentioned Howdy before, you can't usually walk more than, you know, say from your first location to your destination without hearing at least three or five Howdy. So you're gonna feel at home once you find your community. You may have seen us on TV as part of our, our football program. Aggies love football, especially alumni who love to come back and just experience that game day, not just because of the game itself, but also because of the camaraderie that we have. We really call it an Aggie family. So once you become an Aggie, you become a part of this larger network that follows you after you graduate into your career um, and your life as well. Here are a few fun pictures. The guy in the middle says not even 1500 miles can keep the 12th man away. So the 12th man is the fan base, especially at the football games where we're standing as the 12th man that if they need us, we're going into that game to serve our, our team, our um, Texas A&M's football team. And he's saying not even that many miles can keep them away. I know being out of state, it can seem um, challenging to move um, for such a long distance, but just know that um, that tie is very strong that when you become an alumni, you'll wanna come back no matter how far away you are. But game days are full of a lot of fun things, including the cab. You can see the cab over here on the left-hand side, a young lady in some boots and a hat, and she takes care of horses, which they ride in for game day. Um, and that's a part of the Corps of Cadets. If you're interested in the military or anything like that, look into the Corps of Cadets. There's a lot of great scholarship opportunities, as well as a unique organization to be a part of while at Texas A&M. Texas A&M is also huge in service. We love to give back to our community, especially um, the, the community of Bryan College Station where we're located. And one of the service events that we do do is called the big event where we go and we serve those in our community by either painting homes, raking their leaves. It's a full day event, but it's a way for us to give back to our community. We also, um, I mentioned that the Aggie fam, the Aggie network is a family, um, and that can that continues on after school. The picture that you see here is called Bonfire Remembrance, and this is where we actually remember Aggies who have fallen um, during one of our bonf. It used to be a tradition of ours to light a bonfire against our rival school every year, um, but unfortunately, one year it collapsed and we lost a few Aggies in that. So we hold this bonfire remembrance every year, even though that happened more than ten years ago. We hold this every year to remember those Aggies that passed away. We're also a tier one research institution. So if you're interested in research, you can start that as a freshman. You don't have to wait till you're in your upper level classes. You can start that day one. And then finally, you'll get your Aggie ring once you graduate from Texas A&M. Usually it's in your junior year, but you'll be able to earn an Aggie ring, which is basically you wearing your diploma um, 
everywhere. So it's recognized all over the nation, all over the world as well. Um, and it starts different conversations and opens different doors as well because Aggies love to help Aggies. So how do we stack up? We have many different colleges for you to choose from, over 130 undergraduate degrees um, within these 10 colleges. And that can range from agriculture all the way down to veterinary medicine. So whatever you're interested in, most likely you can find it at Texas A&M. And I will let you know, we are one of the uh, um, most highly ranked engineering programs in the nation, as well as business school. So if those are some majors that you're interested in, definitely check out Texas A&M. So how do we consider you for admissions? First, we're gonna look at your academic achievement, so the grades that you've made in high school, but then we're also gonna look at your non-academic factors. So are you involved in other things? Are you involved in um, clubs at school? Do you have leadership in those clubs? And then we're also going to wanna to look at who are you as a person? And that's gonna show up in your essay. So when you're writing your essay, which is what we'll talk about, which essay that is, but when you're writing your essay, you wanna make sure that you're putting in who you are. We already have your resume in the application itself, but let us know more about who you are as a person. Um, have you gone through any unique challenges, you or your family that you'd like to let us know, or any unique opportunities that most students aren't open to? Um, definitely tell us about that in that essay. So what are the application requirements? So to apply to Texas A&M, you'll need to submit an application. That's through Apply Texas or the Coalition app. You'll also want to submit your SAA fee waiver, your SAT or ACT score, which is not required for this application period or next year for 2022. So if you're applying within those, those time frames, and you won't have to worry about your SAT or ACT score. Um, and then a self-reported academic record, which is not your official transcript, but you'll be typing in what your grades were for your, your high school academic career. And then the admission process, our application opens July 1st. So you'll want to make sure to get your application in early. I tell students all the time, if you're interested in a certain major, you want to get your app in super quickly um, because they tend to fill up. They are first come, first serve. But that is all. We have so many advisors all over the United States for you guys to get in contact with if you have any questions. Um, this is your Midwest Regional Advisor, Ms. Libby Berger. I'm step stepping in for her today, but feel free to reach out to her with her contact information here. Thank you and have a blessed day. Okay, we have a few more minutes here. So I'm going to have us go around here and do a Q&A. And so the first question that I have for University of Advancing Technology, and we'll go in the same order, uh, what would you give, um, advi what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? I would suggest that the student really determine what they want to major in. I think that's very important. And uh, I think that's, that is, uh, my number one advice to really narrow down what they want to major in. So uh, my piece of advice would certainly be to, uh, you know, when you're when you're researching your institutions, you know, you certainly want to make sure you want to find that one that feels like home to you. You know, you're going to be spending four years of your life there. Um, make sure you're comfortable there with not only the academics, but of course, the people that are around you, you know, ask students questions and, you know, even if you don't know what your major is, I think that, you know, there's certainly time to figure that out. And, you know, just like I said, I think for me, finding finding a place that's that's really a home for you. Visit, visit, visit. Visit as many places as possible. If you if 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 we have some juniors there, this is a perfect time. Go ahead and try to visit. It's tough times right now, but a lot of universities are offering um, social distancing opportunities. The University of Northern Iowa is now offering visits on campus, but we have a wide range of virtual presentations too. So take advantage of, of a virtual one-on-one -on -one or even a virtual academic session too. On average, students change their major here five or six times. So if you do not have an idea of what you wanna do, you are not alone. So visit as many universities as possible Keep an open mind of, where, of what you want to do as a student and ask those questions. It's never too early to start looking at colleges and visiting them too. I'm just going to retweet everything University of Northern Iowa just said, because that's exactly what I was going to say about visiting. Um, but I would definitely add just 
the experience. Like I'm a hands-on learner kind of type. So for me, it's important that like a school has internships or that I can go and talk to my professor if I'm not quite understanding something. Um, and just definitely, I, I think what's around as well, you don't want to be in a place where there's nothing to do because college is also meant to be fun. And so like, for example, in New York, you know, there's a lot that you can do there or Chicago or whatnot. So I definitely think like visiting also goes in regards to the surroundings for fun things to do there. Yeah, I definitely agree with what everyone said. I would just uh, like to add, um, it's it's important to consider financial fits. Um, I think it's important to know if you, if you can have a, a candid conversation with your parents or guardians, uh, kind of know what your budget is um, for being able to afford college. Um, I think that's important when you're uh, considering schools to apply. And uh, also, you can even start early on maybe trying to find a summer job to help save uh, to pay for books or um, think of other finance, financial strategies, or maybe set up a college savings plan. Um, even if you're a junior or something, I mean, saving up every, every little bit that you can save up can, can help your, your college costs. Yeah, I agree with everything that's been said. I think all of that is great advice. I would also add um, applying to scholarships, especially outside scholarships where you can take anywhere um, because there's no other time like your senior year to be able to get free money, y'all. So put that money um, in your pocket and, and be able to afford the school that you want to go to. So don't, um, don't uh, devalue the, the importance of scholarships. Okay, if you would all my, uh, share what your favorite campus tradition is. And if you already said it during your presentation, you could also share a fun fact. Okay, at University of Advancing Technology, we have the Global Game Jam. It happens every semester where groups of students get together in teams and they have 48 hours to create a video game from start to finish and then they compete against each other for the best video game. Here at Binghamton we have a really cool tradition called Luma. Um, it's not only here on uh, a part of the university but it's also you know it, it brings in the local community as well where what it's um, we bring in artists from around the world to study the facades of buildings of downtown and we do a projection mapping light show based on the architecture of those buildings. It, it's really amazing. Um, it brings over 60,000 people to downtown Binghamton. It actually doubles the, the city's population for a weekend, which is really cool. Um, and there's a bunch of other events that go along with it. And it's free, which is even better. Um, and it's just a really great tradition that actually is not really that old now at this point. I think it's only five years old, but um, it's just a great way to bring students and the local community together. And it's a lot of people's favorite uh, event here. A lot of students like taking it into sporting events. Every sporting event on campus is free. And we are one of 11 universities in the nation that play football in a dome. And it is a free experience. So the dome experience is something that I definitely enjoy being a Panther. And uh, the marching band is a great experience as well. So there is always traditions that have to go with our ath athletics. And uh, there's definitely something that you will uh, not forget. Yeah, um, I don't know how many of you know that there are other Concordias around the United States. And so one of our favorite activities is similar. It's like our mini version of March Madness, except it's with our other Concordia sister schools. And so Concordia Chicago, of course, always wants to come on top. And um, we take turns housing that. And just last year was here at home. This year, everything happening, there isn't one. But definitely, that's very fun uh, for basketball lovers and just, you know, athletics lovers as well. Yeah, in Fort Collins, just about five miles away from campus, there is a hike up to a mountain. Um, called, it's called Horse Tooth Mountain, and the rock juts out, and it looks like a horse's tooth, so hence its name. Um, but it's a, it's a good day hike um, for students to, to go hiking up to the top of the mountain, and then you can get nice views of campus and also Fort Collins, the, the, the city once again that we're in. Nice. I would say for Texas a and my favorite tradition is just game day weekend. It's a, such a unique experience. Um, I was a part of the Corps Cadets when I was at Texas A&M, and so it played a big part of game day where we did marchings, where the whole Corps, about 2,300 of us, does a parade march um, before every single game. Um, and then just being able to experience the barbecues and tailgating on that day is just really unique. Um, and it's something I look forward to being an alumni, being able to go back and just enjoy with the new Aggies and getting to know them. 
Thank you everyone for sharing and thank you everyone for joining us. At the end, uh, when I uh, sign us all off, you'll have a quick four question survey if you wouldn't mind filling that out. Please sign up for more sessions where you uh, sign up for this session. You can find more sessions as well as the recording, uh, which will be available in about a week. And with that, thank you so much everyone and have a wonderful evening.